What are you building, Gray? You building another marble run? New day, same thing, still doing marble run. Porter's doing monster trucks, but I can't really show you him because he's naked. I feel like all my vlogs have been the same. <laughs> it was just us playing in our basement. But that's like winter in Ohio for you. It's just too cold to go outside. It's the morning. We are just hanging out down here. We're about to go get dressed. And then my mom wants us to meet her at Target. Um, I need to get like more carpet spray because I've been using it a lot for Porter's accidents and just general message or messes as well. And then also Valentine's Day is in less than a month. And I need to get Valentine's for Gray's um, classroom because I know they're going to do it. And last year we went way too late and they were all gone. So we're gonna go early enough. Also, the boys are getting colds. I don't know if I mentioned that in my last vlog. We made it two weeks <laughs> through preschool before getting our first cold back from winter break. Gray had like a sneezing fit one day and I knew it was coming and now he's sick, but he has actually been pretty good. And Porter today has been sneezing. I swear he, he would break the world record. He's been sneezing like every two minutes. It's crazy. I just have a rag I bring around with me that I wipe his nose with. Yeah, you're sneezing a lot. He's showing me how he sneezes. We're a little under the weather here. Hopefully they get better before they go to Anthony's parents. I'd hate to leave them with them and have them be sick, but I, I can't really. I, I give them hand sanitizer all the time, every day. I try to protect them, but it's, it's gonna happen. It is what it is. I just hope Anthony and I don't get it. Usually, uh, like, if the kids are sick, I'll have us, like, take airborne or something. I don't think I can take that while pregnant, but Anthony could. So hopefully we don't get sick. I've been using hand sanitizer like crazy, but, of course, I'm around the kids all the time and wiping up their snot and all that. So I don't really have high hopes. Also, today I have my next doctor's appointment. So this will be my 28-week doctor's appointment. I've got the glucose test, so I need to drink my glucose drink. At twelve fifteen today, I have to. Hey, do you need to go pee pee? No, 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 no. Okay, sorry about that, Porter. Oh, you need a nose wipe. Go get your rag. Porter, right there. Porter started pooping on the ground, so I've been cleaning that up. Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. I think I was talking about my doctor's appointment. I have to drink the drink at twelve fifteen today. My appointment's at one. I'll get a blood draw. I'll check my levels and I have to get Tdap shot and I assume I'm getting a Rogam shot too. I have A negative blood, just negative blood in general. You need a Rogam shot too. Well, sometimes two. Definitely one beforehand and then afterwards, if the baby is also negative, then you don't need a shot. Like Porter's, I think Porter is A negative, just like me. So I didn't have to get a shot with him, but Gray, he's AB positive. I think. I think that's what Gray is. And so I had to get a shot after I had him. So I'll do all that and then I'm also getting my nails done today. I'm getting my nails and my toes done because today's Monday. Gray has no school. It's Martin Luther King Day. And we leave for Florida on Thursday. So I'm going to go with my sisters and we're going to get our nails done. I always have a hard time picking a nail color and I always end up picking a nail color that I end up not liking. So I think I'm going to play it safe today and just do pink. Pretty shade of pink. Last time I did peach and I really liked that too. So we'll see what catches my eye. But um, a busy, busy day for me, which is nice because what? with the winter, I've just felt so blah. Just same thing over and over again. So it feels good to have like a day full of things to do. So I will pull out the camera here and there as I remember it. And yeah, I'll just take you guys along with me today. Hey everyone, I am driving. Probably not the safest thing to do to vlog and drive, but it is what it is. Um, I've got the boys in the back. Say hi boys. Hi. We just got done with Target. <laughs> I'll show you some of the stuff we got. Gray's really excited. He got a 
Valentine's Day cards for his classmates, um, PJ mask theme, so he was pretty excited about it. But it is 12.15, I brought my drink, I have it right here, because I figured I was gonna make it home in time. So I have to drink this 45 minutes before my appointment, which is now, and I have five to 10 minutes to drink it, which I don't think will be a problem. So I'm gonna open it and drink it, and I'll let you know what I think of it. I think it'll taste good. They said it tastes like I mean, this is fruit punch flavor, so they said it tastes like fruit punch, so bottoms like up. Let's see. Okay, Bye. we just made it home. The car is parked. It's off. I finished the drink. It took me like six minutes. You know, I actually didn't care for it, and maybe I just don't like I fruit know. punch. I mean, it wasn't bad, but out of the three I've had, the lemon, the lime, the orange, and now the fruit punch, the fruit punch is definitely my least favorite. Not crazy about it but it wasn't horrible like everybody makes it so dramatic like it was fine but anyway did that so now I just have to wait for my appointment so I will update you guys in a little bit I'm in my car. I just finished my appointment. It went well. It was actually a long appointment. Um, it's 1.50 and my appointment was at, at 1. So that was a long appointment. It was so busy. It's Martin Luther King Day. So I think a lot of people try to get like appointments done today because they have work off because usually it's dead there. So I actually had to wait a while, which was fine. They drew my blood at the hour, which is good. Hopefully my results come back good. I think they said they only call if the results are bad so hopefully i don't get a call i know they'll like update the results in the portal so i'll be able to see that too so that was good and then left a urine sample did blood pressure they said my blood pressure was good which is good because i feel like my heart's been beating really fast lately just with baby and incre increased blood flow and just short of breath and stuff but they said that looked good and then my weight is just going up, which is just sad, but it's all right. I'm actually hungry. I haven't ate except for breakfast because I can't, I couldn't eat or drink after that, um, after I took that glucose drink and I'm so thirsty. I can't believe you can't even have water. That's so weird. So I'm going to go home and drink and eat lunch, but my doctor came in. I really just, I feel bad. I don't have much to say to her. So she just asked if everything was going well. And I said, yes, she measured my belly. I'm measuring right on track even though I feel huge. And then uh, baby was kicking all the time. I, she's been having so many hiccups today, but she said it was in the 160s. So everything is looking good. It's actually one of the more higher heart rates that I've had um, for baby. But other than that, it's all looking great. And I'll be back in four weeks. So they also gave me two shots. So I got poked all over today, not fun. I got my Rogam shot, which you have to get if you have a negative blood type. If you do not get this shot, then if you get pregnant again, your body will try to attack the new baby. Uh, so this Rogam shot, you have to get it once while you're pregnant and then once after pregnancy if your baby is a positive blood type. So I got the first one. We'll see if I have to get another one after birth. We'll see what baby, what this little girl's blood type is. And then I also got the Tdap shot. It is optional. The Rogam is not. I mean, I guess you could say no to the Rogam, but then you just wouldn't have another baby. The Tdap is optional, but they highly recommend it for um, pregnant people and honestly anybody that's going to be around a newborn baby um, because it protects against whooping cough and baby can't get that vaccine until two or three months, I think. So it's very important to keep baby away from that. Whooping cough is like fatal in babies. So I got that. I've gotten that for every pregnancy, so that's good. Funniest thing, I don't know where it is. Let's see if I can find it. They gave me a card for getting my Rogam shot. And I've never gotten a card before. Like it said the date and like when it expires, which it expires like next year or something, I guess. Uh, I don't know where I put it. My purse is just 
the hot mess. Anyway, I was like, am, am I supposed to do something with this? And they were like, no, this is just for you to have. I don't know if that was inspired by like, you know, if you get the COVID shot, you get like a, a document, like a little piece of paper saying what shots you got and when. I don't know if it was inspired by that. I've never gotten a card before that says like when I got my Rogam shot. Weird. So, I mean, it's going to be documented in my chart, so I don't know why I need a paper too, but I have it. Uh, let me know down below if you guys are starting to get that. I've never gotten a card before to document that. But anyway, other than that, went good, and I scheduled my next doctor's appointment. It's the day before Valentine's Day. So I thought, I thought after this I would start two-week appointments, but not yet. I have one more four week four weeks away and then after that one then it starts the two weeks which I guess makes sense I have such a normal pregnancy like why am I going more often nothing's wrong with baby so anyway it was a good appointment I'm gonna go home and eat and drink and try to keep myself healthy with two sick kids at home so pray for me what are you guys playing we are playing we are playing the game Cars go somewhere. Oh, we're racing cars, huh? I'm so it's the next day. I, I just realized, I you want milk? milk? Okay, let's go downstairs and get some. I just realized I never updated you guys on my I nails. So we went and got our nails done last I night. Here's my nails. The nail technician picked it out. It's kind of like a Mommy, pinky, yeah. corally, peachy, orangey color. I don't know that I would have picked it myself. The nail technician picked it. Um, and then my toes, it's like a really light, like sparkly pink color. Again, don't know that that's what I would have picked. She said that your toes should always be lighter than your nails, like hands. And I always thought that was the opposite. I always tended to do a light color on my hands and a dark color on my toes. So let me know what which, which you guys usually do because I don't usually do that. But it's fine. It was free because I got a gift card. So it was fun to get out. Anthony watched the kids. They had a dance party. Gray just <laughs> ran over border. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you guys. I didn't vlog anything at the nail salon. I should have and I didn't. But I had a fun time with my sisters. And the vacation is coming up. So I'm super excited. I've started packing a little bit. I need to pack a lot more. Here's our suitcase. Don't mind all of Anthony's clothes. He needs to put them away. Here's my maternity summer clothes. I had to get out and like find all of them. So that we will get clothes and go to Toledo. Yep. You guys are gonna go to Toledo, huh? And you guys are gonna go to Florida. Yeah, we're gonna go to Florida. So I started packing know. a little bit. Anthony packed the Advil. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to pack Tylenol because I can't have it now. And Porter wants milk, so we're going to get going. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.